Hi everybody, it's I'm Famous Photography here and today we're outside Lone Wolf Martial Arts in Reading. It's our second time back with the club but this year instead of being in a church hall we're in their own premises in an industrial unit. So we're just going to go in and have a look round. And as we come up the stairs you can see it's very well decorated with all the different pictures of their students celebrating their martial arts and coming round you can see their club photo from last year with all the members in and as we come upstairs to the first floor and I'd like to introduce you to Chief Instructor Richard Tovey and Senior Instructor Pam Tovey. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to our dojo. It's lovely to be here. It's a beautiful space, isn't it? Yeah, we, we love it. It's really light and airy. Um, it's got great space, it's got great light, loads of greenery, and yeah, the uh, members absolutely love it. And it looks like you've got great um, footfall outside as well. We yes. do. Um, one of the busiest roads in Reading and also some of the longest traffic jams. So people get plenty of time <laughs> to sit and watch us while we're training up here, especially when, when the lights are on uh, and in the late summer evenings. So now, I believe nice. downstairs where we had the buzzing in system, um, you've got your monitor there, haven't you, that you we, can we, we see? Do, yeah, so we have, um, we have a carry around panel so that if, I'm, if one of us is teaching, we're able to have it up here on the floor and when it's buzzed, we go on here, we get a lovely picture of all the security outside, we can see who it is. We press the intercom to speak to them. If we want to let them in, then we press the buzzer and they can come in. So we installed this because we're on quite a busy thoroughfare and a lot of people sometimes just drop by and want to just drop in and see about classes but we're very uh, aware of our safeguarding. So we've had a system where we know exactly who's coming in and out of the building. And more importantly, when we have children up here training, it stops any of them going and running out the door. So there's a, there's a release at the bottom end with a magnetic strip on the door. So it means parents can be feel safe about their kids not getting out of the building as well. Mm -hmm. And that's all linked in as well to our complete all round uh, CCTV inside again. So to make sure that we can have good safeguarding of all of our members and just for general security. That's fantastic. Well, if you would like to take me on a tour of your premises. Absolutely, so this is our reception, designed so that when we have people coming in, we can have anybody new who can come over to this reception desk here and, and talk about details. Um, current members will come across to here and they'll sign in on an iPad to go onto the mats. Um, they'll leave their shoes and equipment down here. Sorry, Pam, you wanna go ahead? I say these are um, our world championship belts that Sensei and the girls have achieved and we've got some some more world champion uh, belts there and actually we've got this wonderful sword that was given um, by our students to sensei rich for his 50th birthday so that was really lovely really kind of them and behind you i can see is that your pro shop display on the yes, wall yes yes we we've got a whole range of um uniform We've got the Silver Future black belt t-shirts and hoodies um, and we've just different sizes. We've, we've got um, the sleeveless tops here, we've got other bags, water bottles and so much more. So it's still something that we're in the progress of setting up further. And this is our new sparring here, part of it. It's not all here but um, the only Wolf martial arts sparring kit. So one thing we've done recently as well is we've put a pro shop on our website, which has been great because then when members want something, rather than asking in class, Sensei, can I have this, can I have that, we just say, go to the shop, order it, we'll get it through, you can pick it up in class. So what we do is we rotate stuff in, it might be new stuff or it might be something else, and then that way we can keep rotating stuff here, but everything any of our members want is all on our pro shop, so they can go in, find their sizes, order it in, and we get it in for them. Okay, so this is our main training area. So we have literally just this week, we extended out over here. Um, so what we, we, we've got it as quite a good working dojo. So this is normally our main training area. And this area here, um, up to recently, we had a wall across here and it was all just seating for parents. But what we've done recently is we've made it more multifunctional. So this wall moves. So when we do events like kids' birthday parties, this becomes the sitting, eating, leave all your stuff area. This is the, the other area. We also use this for meetings with parents. We use it for instructor training. So it's a, a really functional area. And then when we don't need it for that, then we're going to be having the extra mats here, which gives us more room to get more students in the class. It also allows us to do induction classes in there, and it allows us to put a pop-up, pop-down boxing ring and some additional bags. So it's going to give us a lot more functionality mm. in the dojo. Um, so we come into the main training area. Uh, so it's about 150 square meters we have here, um, all fully matted out. 
Uh, we do have a central pillar, which uh, obviously we can't do much about, so we've just got safety matting on it. Yeah. But we have, a, we have a nice good function area, so we have the ability to do, we have a large class, we'll do side to side um, running for warm ups. We've got the distance, so from here down to the wall here, we have a 15 metre run. Right down from the end to end, it's a 20, it's a, it's a 20 metre, so we can do um, sp uh, shuttle sprints, we can do beep tests. Um, and we can have lots and lots of space. We've laid the mats out in this area mainly for organising the kids. We didn't want to go with a traditional checkered pattern because we get lots of reflection on the ceiling and it just all goes, goes yeah. through. Um, but the great bit about here is, for example, um, this area here would mark out the size of a fighting ring. Um, by putting the mats in this area here, there and there, we can actually lay them out to have um, a, a competition sized fighting, fighting areas. Um, and we've got this side we've dedicated to all of our heavy bags which has, um, since we moved into our full-time place, it's really opened up the ability for what we can do with students because we can have students working here on technique, some in the middle on pad work, and then heavy bag work over here. Uh, we're just going to, like I said, we're going to put some more bags in there plus some, some other bits of equipment. And then we're installing hooks all on the walls so we can integrate it with things like battle ropes and we've got some TRX bands there. Um, and so that enables us to then offer lots of additional things, so additional exercise classes um, and, other, and other activities. So yeah, it's, it's a great place, it's a really good space, really light. Um, we're just going to see how it is with the heat in the summer now. So what kind of classes do you do here at uh, the Academy? We do a whole range of classes. Um, so we cover all ages from two right up to however old people might want to be to train. Um, up until recently, we started children at four years old because we felt that was a, a good age to bring them in where they can start to listen and learn skills properly. But we, we realised that there was a little bit of a gap for younger children. So we've got quite a lot of parents who have younger, younger siblings of the children who train with us. And they're always saying that they're, they're struggling to find something to do. And they say, we love what you do. When can we start them? Then they're only two and a half or they're only three. So we thought about it. And um, Pam's got loads of experience, 25 years, to, 25 years experience as a teacher, everything from early years right through to college. And she's worked a lot in the special needs area. So we, um, we thought, actually, why don't we do something? Because uh, we thought what we found, because we've got three, three girls ourselves. So they're all like, teenagers now. But when they were younger, we always struggled to find something to do. And it wasn't just something to do, but it was continuity where they could continue on in something. Mm. So we thought well, it would be a great idea to, if we could get them coming in at two to four with a very well balanced curriculum where they're in a safe area with all the matting, but they're learning all the skills in martial arts, like listening, following instructions, developing coordination. Um, so they come in and they're learning through play, but that then gets them ready when they want to come into a four-year-old class to have got, got a lot of the core skills so that when they start doing the class, they understand the instructions, they know the area, and it's a nice seamless transition. And then parents have basically got something from their two-year-olds right up to 18 when they leave home and they go off to university or go off to the big wide world to mm. know that they've got a structured approach. So we do the two to fours, then we have four to six year olds. So they're our tiny pups, they're the little, little ones. Four to six year olds is our, is our wolf pups. So that's, a, that's usually a two year uh, development program for them, which is mainly based around karate. Then they go to the, um, to the wolf cubs, which is six to eight year olds, which is uh, uh, more complex karate with fundamentals of kickboxing. Then when they reach eight, they move into our wolf scouts program, which is for eight to 12 slash 13 year olds which is a full kickboxing program combined with other martial arts, age appropriate self-defense, um, some basic weapons training, and that then gets them ready pretty much for going up out of uh, primary school into secondary school, so they've got all those skills. And then when they hit secondary school age, they move into our mixed adult class, so they start to train with uh, more mature uh, people, older teenagers, older adults. <coughs> Uh, so they're working in an environment where they're building their social skills as well as their their martial arts skills and then they basically train in there until um, you know until they're ready to either go off leave from home or, or stay with us and keep training if they stay local um, and that class also enables us then to filter in adults and also a lot of the parents who have started training as well and also recently we've seen there's a big need for ladies and men's and men's only classes um, in fact we were on the itv news um, a couple of months ago because uh, it was a big um, it was a year anniversary of the Sarah Everard murder mm. and they were talking about women in Reading, how, how safe they feel and that a lot of them didn't and they were interested in if there'd been an uptake in self-defence. And we've had a massive surge in ladies coming in for kickboxing and self-defence. So we had a big, big start on the ITV News talking yeah. about what we're doing with women to help empower them, help them feel safe. And that's gone really well. And, and I also thought about the fact that there's also a lot of men out there who aren't necessarily that comfortable with doing things. They're worried that people might judge them and look at them. So we started a, a men's only course as well. <coughs> and that's gone really well because we found there's a lot of guys who... They want to be in a non-judgmental situation with like-minded people. Mm. So that, that's working really well as well. So we've expanded out into those couple of areas too. 
um, and we have run classes. Um, well, we, basically, I work seven days a week, running classes every evening and Saturdays and Sundays. So it's um, yeah, it's really great. I think uh, something that we thought very carefully about is um, obviously our logo with the lone wolf, and what we wanted to do is we wanted the wolf to evolve. Um, so we had tiny pups, then the pups, and the cubs, then the scouts, then the wolves. So you can see the evolution of the wolf um, along the way. So we've yet to develop a senior, um, maybe Tai Chi. Uh, yeah, so we do have, our oldest student is 64. Mm -hmm. It's a lady who does self-defense classes and she's had a double hip replacement. So there's nothing stopping anyone getting in there. But we have a really good mix of, of all ages right, right through. And we've actually found that our um, our uh, sort of middle age to, to, to later middle age, uh, sort of 35 up to about 50, has really grown lately. Because um, I think coming out of COVID, there's been a lot of need for people to just find something they can get their head into. We all know that martial arts is great for mental health and for, and for, for stress relief. Um, so we've had quite a big increase in that as well, which, is, which has been great because traditionally it tends to be kids' martial arts classes that, that tend yeah. to be a little bit bigger. And I believe also this year you've uh, started to introduce seminars. We have. Um, in fact, just on Thursday, two days ago, we had Bill Superfoot Wallace in. So he was over for the, for the martial arts show. And while he was here, he was doing a limited amount of seminars around the country. So as soon as I, I saw there was an option, we grabbed him and we had... Uh, we had him in here on uh, on Thursday with, with 40 people, some of our own club members, other people who travelled from over the country, and we had an amazing, when it went about two and a half hours in the end, seminar with Bill, which was absolutely superb. Um, so it's the first time we've run something like that, and we definitely do it again. We've got a great space here, we've got a great location, uh, and it was, yeah, just a really fantastic evening. And we had you guys here, which yes. made it even better. So in our extended dojo area, we had um, the I'm Famous guys set up. So it was brilliant. So everybody came in, and I said, anybody wants to sign a pitch with Bill Wallace? And there was a massive queue. So it was amazing to turn up to a seminar, seminar train with a legend, get pictures done, get them signed, talk to the guy, and go. So yeah, absolutely fantastic event. And it was great that you guys were here to help cover that. And so, something that Sensei Rich hasn't mentioned is that he'd been nominated for um, an award on Sunday. Oh, the Hall of Fame Awards again, which he's over here to, to, um, to deliver. So, so yeah. I'm here on Thursday. I'm gonna, when we finish the weekend of, of, uh, of the filming, we're going to be driving up to the Martial Arts Awards for a four-hour drive on a Sunday evening. And uh, I'll be meeting Bill again has, when he... Uh, and what exactly award. are you being awarded? Just for being cool and amazing, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think, I think they're going to uh, announce it on the night. Okay. So you don't know, but you just know that there's a category that you're in. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, they've, they've said uh, for outstanding contribution to the martial arts community. Right. So. And would you describe yourself as um, a fighting club or as a family martial arts club? I mean, we're very much primarily a family martial arts club um, because, again, being a family ourselves and having three teenage girls now, um, when they were younger, we found it very important for them to do martial arts because it's been my passion for a long time. I mean, both as, as teenagers, we did martial arts and then back into it in later life. And one of the things we wanted them to have was that same approach to life and the same life skills. So they all, they've all been training since they were five years old. Um, and again, we found it difficult ourselves when the girls were younger to find somewhere that was a really accommodating. And there's, there's a lot of clubs around that some are fight focused, some are very old school. and. There's certain things for certain people, but we felt there was a need for a very uh, family orientated club. So a family, a club for families run by a family. Here we teach discipline, anti-bullying strategies, self-respect, confidence. We teach skills for life. We'd love to invite you along to our club to come along for a free trial, to come and meet the family, to see the dojo and to see how we teach and what we teach. And um, we look forward to you joining us so you can develop yourself, develop your skills for life and, and become an awesome martial artist. artist.